Hi, um, I wanted to talk to everybody today about something very important, bridging prescriptions and how I got mine. Um, it's difficult to get a bridging prescription from the NHS. Um, a survey that was out last year said 80% of GPs do not do bridging prescriptions when asked. Um, so I'm going to tell you how I got mine. And it was a, a long road, but I got there and it was a lifesaver, as I'm sure many of you can imagine. Um, my, my original GP, who gave me the initial referral to my GIC, he was all up for it. But then I moved out of the area and I got with another GP who was rubbish utterly rubbish. He refused point blank to help in anything. He was terrible. And even though I fought very hard, what I did, because... Oh, the words. I think I need more coffee, folks. So, I was with Leeds GIC at the time. And the waiting times for that GIC are scarily, criminally bad. They are. However, eyebrows. Yes, I can do my eyebrows. I digress. The, what I found out was to see the head endo at Leeds, uh, Dr. Hammond at the time, I would have been waiting four or five years no, I wanted these. And I was prepared to self-medicate and everything else. So, to a friend of mine who is an activist, a trans activist, I found out what I did was I persuaded my rubbish GP to get me a direct referral to Dr. Hammond. Not at the GIC, but at Harrogate Hospital where at the time he was the head endo. I think he's moved on there from now, though. Because while the waiting time to see Dr. Hammond at Leeds was four to five years, to see him at Harrogate was six weeks. So I did that. And he ordered me to do blood tests first, which my rubbish GP, I did manage to get him to do. And then I saw Dr. Hammond. I think it was one of, my, one of his team. And because I had lived as my true self for over 12 months, I had changed my name through Depol, including my driver's license, all my official documentation, everything was in my new name. I had had 12 months of laser hair removal. Bloody hurts and you can smell the burning. Electrolysis I'm finding is better. And I had taken all these steps and because I was at risk of self-medicating, I was this close to just buying random stuff off the internet. And I told them that. Because bridging prescriptions are there to mitigate harm. A GP is supposed to give you them if the risks of giving you NHS hormones and starting this without your dysphoria diagnosis isn't as much risk as you buying stuff off eBay or wherever you get uh, black market estrogen from and doing it yourself, which obviously can harm your kidneys. You don't know what you're taking. It's terrible. Um, so for a GP, from the NHS's point of view, it's risk mitigation. Oh, I'm running a battery. I'll see if I can do this. So I emphasize that point because it was true. And Dr. Hammond said, yes, awesome, you're clearly a trans woman. Here's a bridging prescription. Went back to my rich GP and he still said no. He refused to issue them. Even though I had the paperwork from the endocrinologist saying that he should give me them. He refused still. Mm, very frustrating. So I moved back 
into my old area and got back on with my old GP. And he gave me the straight away, he was awesome. But he explained as well that estrogen tablets, because they weren't designed specifically for trans women, it's a yellow risk in prescribing. The doctors can prescribe them if they feel comfortable. That's why some of them won't. And T blockers are um, a red risk. You ha he had to have specialist approval, I think, which is why my letter from Dr. Haven came in. Now, the whole process from start to finish, from when I gave up on the GIC and gave up on my old doctor, you're talking maybe nine weeks, 12 weeks or something like that. And that was two years ago. And it really did save me. It really, really did. So if you're in any doubt, find out. There are tons of support groups with whoever your local GIC is. Find out who the head endro is and get try and get a direct referral to whichever other hospital they are at. Make sure you are taking steps, change your name, laser hair removal, whatever. Take steps, show that you're committed to this path. Show that you're committed, yeah? And fight for it. You can go on, the LGBT Foundation has a list called Pride and Practice to show the updated list in your area where GPs have had training on LGBT issues. It does not guarantee they will prescribe, but it gives you an idea. I had to change addresses, change GPs, and in the end, change GIC as well. If you can go down this route, it is so much safer for you than buying unknown chemicals off the internet. So, that's how I did it. You can too. Don't give up fighting. And remember just how brave you are to be trans at all. And I love you for it. I hope this helps. Any questions, put a comment. Like and subscribe. And let's help as many people as we can. Mwah!